gon' give it to ya Fuck way for you to get it on your own X gon' deliver to ya What's up nerds, welcome back to Tea Time with your favorite software engineer. So today I'm going over populating next right pointers in each node. But first I just wanted to mention the uh, Leco competition that I'm hacking, or not hacking, hosting. And I'm paying the winner $10 and we're hosting every month. So the invite to that is to a Slack channel, it's in the description below. Um, so you can find the instructions on that in the Slack channel. Um, great practice. So anyways, this is a medium problem. Um, some could argue that it could be a hard problem. It's actually quite challenging. It has a good like to dislike ratio because it makes you think um, and it makes you understand how pointers work and trees and how you can access them. So let's go over this. You're given a perfect binary tree where all, all leaves are on the same level and every parent has two children. So that's what that means. Every parent has two children. Um, that's what a perfect binary tree is. The binary tree has the following definition. So here's the structure definition for each node. Populate, they all have, the, the difference is they have a next pointer. Um, and it's all set to null initially. Um, that's what this line says. If there's no next right node, the next pointer should be set to null. Um, initially, all next pointers are set to null. So they want us to use constant extra space. So no data structures, obviously. Um, if we were to use a data structure, I'd use a stack red queue. Um, you can just pop them off and add them in. Recursive approach is fine. Um, you may assume implicit stack space does not count as extra space for this problem. So they're saying that recursive stack, if you do recursion, recursive stack wouldn't count as space. But we're going to try and do it in constant space because we just need to be able to access both the left side and the right side at the same time for the same level because we're just setting this next pointer over here. So we obviously know we're going to have to have a reference to this so we can access the right and the left and be able to set the next pointers at the same time. That's how this problem is going to work. It's not that, I mean, it is hard to come up on with on your own, probably take a little testing, but um, it's, it's definitely doable. So we know we need to access to set the next pointers for the level below. We're going to have to have a reference to the node above so we can access the left and the right. Um, so I'm going to go over this on this whiteboard as I put along. Um, so basically we're going to do set here. Let's just start it. So we have our base case. If root equals no, you guys know our base cases. Return root. Um, and then let's just create another node. So this is going to be the left node equals root. So this is what we're going to be using to basically access, move or move down the left side. Um, and then we're just going to while left node dot left does not equal null. Uh, basically, we're just going to traverse down the left side. That's how we're going to be able to access all the other nodes. Um, while left node dot left does not equal null, we want to have another reference because that's the one we're going to be setting the next pointers to. So if this is left node, we can set head equal to this as well. So let's go ahead and call it head equals left node so while head does not equal no um <clears throat> the first thing we want to do so if head is here um head dot left dot next is going to equal head dot right so head dot right i hope you guys can see that oops caps lock head dot left dot next equals head dot right. And so then we have to think about if we're at the second level, um, we can do, you know, head dot left dot next equals head dot right. That's correct. But we also need to set the next pointer for this one. So head dot right dot next is equal to um, head dot next dot left. So first we need to check if there's a head dot next. So if head, otherwise we're not going to have access to that side of the tree. There's not even going to be that side of the tree, basically. Uh, so what did I say? Head dot right dot next equals head dot next dot left. So head dot right dot next equals head dot next dot left. Okay. And... So once we do that, um, we just want to uh, 
basically move head over so head equals head dot next to make sure we set all of them in that level um we have to move along the entire level for each all the nodes for the entire level to make sure we set them all all the next pointers correctly and so that's that and then finally here we're just moving left node along we already set all the um correct pointers there's nothing left to set we just want to move left most yeah left node equals left node dot left let's just move it move it down the tree and it's basically going to execute while left node dot left does not equal no and then lastly we're just going to want to return root that's the original tree so let's go, go ahead and run this sweet so this works um so like i said we used constant space complexity um, runtime is great so this is like a great solution if you can come up with this um, if you can understand it as well i'm sure you learned a thing or two um and the uh, runtime is just o of n because we're accessing every node, we have to access every node in the tree. And so I hope this video helped you guys. I know I went a little fast. Um, Rewatch it if you have to. Uh, I think this is a great problem and that if you can come up with a solution like this on your own, you're doing fantastic and you're well on your way to fang. Um, that's all I got for you guys. So if you guys learned something, smash that like button, join my Slack channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.